It's an unrestored barn find with oxidized black paint and rusting running boards. A rare 1937 Studebaker president that's owned by John Gray of Colebrook, Connecticut. Found it purely by luck and here we go. You know, it's uh, just a car we found in the barn. Hadn't been run in 28 years. The couple that had it um, was married in it and then they parked it not soon after. The car was in their family for about 45 years. When Gray first entered that barn about five years ago, it was tough to determine what the car actually was. When we went into the barn that it was located in, there was stuff piled all over. The rumble seat was out of it. The, the uh, skirts off the side for the engine were missing. There was a lot of different things. Uh, stuff just piled all over and the, the stuff you had to crawl over through uh, a nice little walkway to get to it was, uh, was a lot of work. So, but it was very interesting to see it. Not many 37 presidents exist anymore. I've talked to some people that have some good knowledge of them. Uh, this one, there was a, probably about 181 made uh, to 161, depending on the configuration. And there's probably about six or seven left that people are, know of. Um, so they're rare, but not priceless. Restoring the president wasn't considered. Gray preferred the patina. We really like the fact that it's original. And, and it's easy to keep that way. It's the best, best thing for me. And it makes for less work as an owner. It's the best kind of show car to have because it only requires mechanical maintenance and a wipe down every once in a while. Um, we've tried to actually pretty it up just a little bit and it doesn't really respond. Uh, a little bit of wax, a little bit of conditioner for the paint. Uh, nothing really does the trick. It's, it's, it is what it is. The Studebaker has numerous peculiar or interesting features, beginning with the hood ornament. That's not only a hood ornament, it also has a legitimate purpose. Right. What is it? Um, well, it, the dual function is it actually latches the hood. You turn it as such and it turns a bell crank underneath and it has an operational piece under here that latches the hood down on these hooks. Um, so it's actually a dual purpose type of unit. And it works very nice. It does have a radio, but the radio is just a little bit different. Tell me about it. Well, the radio actually has the speaker located in the roof, which is a, a good option. And uh, that way the speaker is located closer to your ears. The rear window has an unusual shape. Uh, what's the story behind that? They actually called this the Batwing Coupe in 1937 uh, because of the design of the rear window. Um, this one doesn't roll out uh, because it has a a scoop in the front, but in 36, this window actually rolled out along with the windshield on this model for, uh, for air conditioning or central air. There's also a rumble seat and the aforementioned running boards. What's under the hood? This is a straight eight, uh, about 115 horse, uh, 235 cubic inch. How's it drive? It drives very nice. Uh, it has a nice ride to it. It has a planier front suspension, which, which is a transverse leaf. Which, doesn't, which means it's not the old straight axle, it actually is an independent suspension. Um, you, you sit pretty central in the wheelbase of the car, and this is a President, so it's a 123 inch wheelbase, so it rides very nice. What's difficult in owning the President is resisting temptation when someone comes knocking, asking to buy it. We've been offered a pretty good amount of money, um, you know, under 50 but over 30. That's Ride Connecticut, I'm Bud Wilkinson.